Well, hello there, everybody, and we're back in Star Wars The Old Republic. I've been looking forward to coming back to this game, and since 1.6, the game has well and truly proven its point in the MMO world. But one thing that is consistent in every MMO that I can't stress enough is something that you shouldn't do. And as you can see on the minimap, I'm talking about the auction house, or preferably known in this game as the GTN, which is the Galactic Trade Network. Today I'm going to give you a very small insight in how it should work. This is for noobs really, I'm not going in much detail. I will be making very detailed videos on how to make loads of credits on the Galactic Trade Network. But for this video, it's the very basic functionalities of the Galactic Trade Network and how to get your items for sale, not necessarily make all the credits in the world like I've learned a few tricks myself over the past year of playing the game but mostly just getting to know your way around the Galactic Trade Network so without further ado we're gonna kick off this a little tutorial as I said it is for noobs and here we go this is the window that you were introduced with the moment you click on the Galactic Trade Network um, basic functionalities is you, if you know what you're searching for, you can type it in here. So if I'm looking for a red crystal, I'd type red, I'd search, and it's a very basic search. If I want an actual red crystal, like this one here, but that's for crafting, I go onto the category menu here, where you've got armor, melee weapon, ranged weapon, implant, earpiece, offhand, relic, item modification, consumable, droid, crafting material, crafting mission, crafting schematic, starship upgrade, malicious, mount, pet and cartel market items. If I was to search for a crystal, I would want to go under the item modification tab and then would go over to color crystal, sorry I've been crafting like crazy today, and depending, I'll go for an artifact for instance, just to give a better example. I want it usable by me and I want it with strength primarily and we just want it level 50 only because I'm on a level 50 and because all my credits are away on other characters at the moment I'm going to set my budget to 27242 which is my maximum credits and there's absolutely nothing found. So if I lower it down to prototype nothing found. <laughs> Premium Okay, any. Oh wow. Okay. Let's set that up to a ridiculous number again. And there are no color cri red color crystals on the market. If I get rid of red. Okay. I think that's because of that. No. Okay. That's being a pain in the butt, so we'll just search for some armor. Heavy armor. The head slot, artifact, usable by me with strength. There we go. And I've just remembered why, because you can't have a strength to kill the crystal, my bad. But there we go. There's the head item right there, and it's not as good as my. And I need to get my green. Okay, I think. Maybe. Um, I'll look into that. But anyway, that is how you search for an item on the Galactic Trade Network. You can actually have a look at these. If you control left click, they're pretty cool. Got a little vent mask of things. Full head and just very basic things. That was actually really cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. Might be worth investing in that in the future. I don't know. No, it's nowhere near as good as mine. Awesome. But anyway, that is the basic functionality of searching for an item. You've got your reset button there. And for instance, if I wanted to buy more Serene Silk, I could just type Serene Silk, just like that, and search. And I've put a U instead of a Y. I believe he is that there. There we go. So I could just buy Serene Silk, which is quite overpriced in my opinion, but oh well. That is how you would search directly for an item. But now on to the basic selling points of an item. 
For instance, in my inventory of value at the moment, just through a quick glance, I'd probably say it's the mechanical symbi symbite, but the advanced might hilt 21 I may as well. And if you're doing this correctly, which you should be doing it correctly, and those of you that are not doing it correctly, you should be because you are getting majorly ripped off. If not, you are just cheating and going to ruin the money system, because I can't pronounce... Yeah, not can't do it. Oh well. But I can't do it, so the money system on that server, which I hate you for that. So first of all, you want to search for your advanced might hilt 21 and search. There is one on there already which is 40k. Now most people that I see if they were going to undercut somebody they would drop that to 20k. No, there is only one on the market so you can afford to undercut it by one credit. So 39999 that is one credit below what the last one was. So now I've undercut it, therefore I'm at the top of the list. So now somebody that's going to buy it, one credit cheaper, they may not bother about one credit, but yours is at the top of the list, therefore they're going to buy it or see it first. So that is how you use the basic functionalities on the Galactic Trade Network on Star Wars The Old Republic. Please stick by the basic rules that I've give you here. I will be making a much in-depth video on this. This was just the very basic to begin with the launch of, well, the relaunch of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. You've been listening to Nivaraj Official. I hope you have a pleasant evening and good night.